Have you been considering taking the leap and getting a digital business card, but you're just not sure if it's right for you? I'm gonna do a high level overview of what I call the professional's digital business card, the talking V card. Don't go anywhere. And you might be wondering, who is a digital business card good for? I mean, what professions that make sense in, to use a digital business card in the first place? Well, pretty much any profession can use the digital business card, but some that it works really well for are businesses that are, first of all, they are direct businesses where you are the personal brand, you are the brand and you need people to remember who you are and to have your information available all the time. So professions like realtors, network marketers, coaches, uh, auto brokers, attorneys, insurance professionals, virtual assistants, and you can probably come up with many more. I love the digital business card. I work with people individually and I want them to then be able to connect with me automatically. So. If you have a brand and you want people to remember who you are and be able to connect with you very easily, then a digital business card makes perfect sense for you. Now we're going to do some videos in the future where we'll talk more about the specifics, uh, some specific industries and specifically even about what do we mean by branding? Cause sometimes people are confused about brand. What is the brand? And you know, so if you need though people to be able to get in touch with you at the touch of a button and you'd like for your information to be on their phone all the time, then a digital business card is going to be perfect for you. All right, we're going to pop over to my phone so that you can see what the digital business card looks like on my phone. And then we'll maybe even do a behind the scenes look at how we actually create the card and how easy it is to fill the information out and so forth. This little funny looking uh, design in the bottom left, the black with the little star thingy, whatever that's down there on the bottom left, uh, the black and greenish colored logo is my digital business card. I put it right there on my home screen, right on that, those four items that show up so that it's super easy for me to get to it. So if somebody asks me at an event, hey, do you have a, do you have a business card? My answer is yes. Do you have a phone? And usually the person says, yeah, I have a phone. Great. Pull your phone out. And when I open up my digital business card, all I then do is I go to the very bottom of my card and I have a button down here that allows me to click this and it'll bring up a QR code. And if you scan that QR code, my digital business card will pop up on your phone. And then the next thing that I want a person to do is to just scroll down to the button that says, add me to contacts. And I'm going to then have them click that button. And when they do, it just brings up this contact on their phone. They can literally just scroll up and then just click on create new contact, add existing contact or update contact stand in shield. Since I already have it on my phone, I'm not going to click the button to do it, but that's how easy it is to save the card to the person's phone. When this card is saved to the phone, the URL for this card is also saved in the phone. So when they open that contact record and they go to that URL from inside their phone, they're going to come right back to this digital business card. And now what you see on the digital business card is I've got a header. You see my name that's kind of scrolling across the screen, my image, my photo, my name talks a little bit about what I do. There is a short video here that introduces me to people and it introduces them to what it is that I do. And then I have some buttons here, similar to what you would have on your phone. The buttons then allows them to just click a button and call me, click a button, text me, click a button, email me. They can go to my Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, website, PayPal, YouTube. AC stands for active campaign, which is another one of the tools I work with. The V card, they could go to my V card website and purchase the V card, this business card right here. 
they I've got other stuff there. They can the last button on the bottom is book me so that people can schedule an appointment with me directly. And then down below, I've got how can I help? That's an about me section where you can put in more information about you, your business, what you do. There is a services section so you can put in additional information about what services there are that you offer so that people can see that right on your card. And so I've got several services listed here, including the digital business card. There's also a photo gallery. So if you're in a business that is very image specific and you've got photos of products or services that you want to share, you can always put those in your gallery. And this is what's great about this gallery. If I click on the top of this talking V card, it just opens it up to a larger image so they could see a larger image if that's what you want. Or if I click on it at the bottom, it comes up and says view online. So then if I click that, that's actually going to take them to my digital business card website where they can actually get more information about the card and they can scroll right through the website and get the information that they want and even purchase the card right there. So these image images here in the image gallery are clickable images. You also can include testimonials and you can include videos. And so I have several, I have about four YouTube videos that are included here. You see one about digital business cards that's right there and available immediately. There's another one here about some other tools and Google, uh, what is a Google ad grant as well as how to implement social impact programs. And the add me to contacts button is further down as well. That button is there several times so that people can easily add your card to their phone. This way, when people, many people will forget about you over time, but, but if they have your information included right here and it's on their phone, and if you are continuing to do some marketing where the person then will be able to see you your info will be with them all the time. If I want to share my card, I've got a series of buttons across the bottom that I can use to share the card with. So it could be WhatsApp, text message, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Twitter, or I can share it simply by clicking on the QR code button and we can share it via QR code. So there are a number of ways for you to share it. And this card is 100% customizable. That header is specific to me. Your header will be a will be something that matches your brand. The um, everything on it, the colors are interchangeable. So you can create a card that looks exactly the way that you want it to look. The image on the screen shows you a wide variety of samples. Here's what lots of people have done with their cards. You can see there's a variety of colors and styles and you know, just different ways that people have designed their cards. So you have 100% flexibility with what your card looks like. Also on my page are samples of other cards that we have created. And so these are people who have uh, purchased cards. If you go to the page and you click on their card, it will actually bring up their actual digital business card with their contact information. Let's just take a quick look behind the scenes. So creating your card is very easy. This is the dashboard. This is the place where you would create it. You simply fill in the blanks, fill in the information that's requested. You just click the box and you upload your picture. You upload your top header, the banner, and that now creates that top banner look for you. You will be able to upload a video from either Vimeo or YouTube, doesn't matter. It will accept either one of them. I told you the color schemes are 100% customizable. You have a color scheme, a, a picker, color picker over here where you can pick the colors that you want. In terms of the buttons, what shows up in these buttons, that's 100% determined by you. You can have a few buttons or you can have tons of buttons. There are some buttons that are standard that all you gotta do is check the box and they're gonna show up. And then you can add additional buttons to your liking just simply by coming down and click add another link. You can add many, many more buttons to it. You have your services section where you can add in as many services as you like on your card. You could even have an appointment scheduler on your card. I don't use that. I have my own scheduling system. So I use this book me button to schedule appointments. You have the gallery so that you can add as many images as you want to your gallery 
and you can add PNG, JPEG, or GIF images to the gallery. As you can see, I've got one item that's here that's a, a GIF, and it's kind of showing some movement and action on the page. Testimonials is another area that you can add as many testimonials in as you like. They're pretty easy to just, you click that section and you add them in. Video library, another one that's super easy. You just put the link for YouTube or Vimeo right here and the video gallery will show up. It's not showing right there, but you saw it when it was in the live mode that the, vi the videos showed up and they played. The settings are in the back. You can name your card. I have it as my name, stan.talkingvcard.net. You can connect your Google Analytics to it so that now you get back-end data as to how often your card's actually being visited. You can also connect the Facebook Pixel to it. And we, uh, let's see here. And then you're gonna, this card is searchable. It is searchable uh, from an SEO standpoint. It's searchable on Google. So you would then put in your metadata in your card and it becomes a mini branded website where people can find you. If you chose, you can display a form on your card. And if I click save right here, this form shows up on the bottom of my card so that people could fill in their information, their name, subject, email, and a message to me. And then the card would mail me directly that information. I think I will leave that on there for this, for this time. And uh, so that's a quick look on the back end of the card. It's very easy to get your card set up. You know, one of the things that I really love about the digital business card is that I am able to adjust that card on the fly. When I'm going out to a meeting, if there's something new that I want to show on the card that hasn't been on there, then it's very easy for me to put that information on my card super quick. So. There's, there's a few links down below that uh, one link will take you to my site that you can learn more about the card. And um, the another link it down below is a link for you to book a 30 minute session with me. You can book me and we can talk specifically about your needs for and whether or not a digital business card will work for you. All right, that's it for this high level overview. We're gonna come back and do some other views where we'll go into detail about the card. But if you like this video, make sure that you like the video so that YouTube knows to show it to other people and then subscribe to our channel as well as click the little bell next to the subscribe button because that'll notify you when the next video is coming out. So that's it for today. I appreciate you joining me. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.